Let's take a look at general system privileges. Once again, system privileges are in general privileges allocated to users to allow them to change things in the database, such as creating tables, indexes, altering tables, amongst others. Other privileges are, as you can see in this list below, database and system privileges. Database and system privileges are privileges that allow us to change the database itself, as opposed to the tables. Database privileges are table space privileges and changing the aspects of the system itself, such as archive logs and redo logs. Most of this is database administration. Once again, the SysDBA and SysOffer privileges which allow starting up and shutdown. Database link, database administration again. A database link is a link to a database on a remote server. Rollback segments, rollback segments allow the storage of information which allow undoing of operations on the database. Again, database administration. Altering of session values or aspects, session privileges allow changing of certain profile aspects when you're logged in. When you log in, you create a session. Table spaces, again, database administration. Analyze, to do with analyzing objects and creating statistics. Grant privileges, allowing a user to grant privileges to another user. System privileges are mostly database administration. We don't really need to go further with it. The system privileges we're really interested in for the introduction to SQL are profiles, users, roles, and sessions. Roles. We can do things with roles, as in alter any role, drop any role, grant any role. From the perspective of SQL, a user such as a schema user, such as concerts, could create a role where he would allocate system privileges to allow that role to create objects, such as create views on the tables in the concert schema. The concert schema could then grant that role to another user, such as Joe or developer. Joe and developer are two users we've created so far. Sessions, create and alter session. Every user gets a create session. Every user has to have the create session privilege. Users will get create, alter, and drop on, for instance, tables allocated to them. Here's a quick picture of system privileges. These particular system privileges are privileges which allow users to do things with database objects, as in logical objects such as tables, indexes, sequences. In other words, a user could create the object, alter the object, backup, delete, drop, etc. Do things with these objects. Do things with tables, indexes, sequences, etc. Let's take a look at some system privileges. First of all, let's connect. I'm going to connect a system. Note, I do not need to connect to sys because I'm not starting up or shutting down the database. I'm just going to look at the metadata. So I go into security and I go to users. As you can see, we already have a user called developer. He has a create session system privilege. And the same should apply for Joe. In the top right box, we can see all the system privileges. What we need to do is to be able to scroll across far enough to get the scroll bar. Let's look at all the system privileges. Any that are interesting. Alter any index. There's one. Alter any procedure. Let's go down through the alters. Create. I should find one up here called create table. Create any table. As you can see, there are an enormous number of available system privileges. 